Now, as we all know, Iman just did some pretty big things. And that, of course, means more content to recreate. So in this video, we'll make this WAP logo animation, which is a super valuable skill to master, as you can apply the same principles to so many other edits. I have a bunch of assets and free presets in the description below, so go ahead and grab those, and let's get started. Alright, so here we have the animation. It looks pretty good. It's not that complicated. Pretty simple. Let's get straight to recreating it. All right, so let's make a new comp. So new composition. Let's just name this Iman WAP animation. Make it 1920 by 1080. Frame rate, make it 30. Pretty nice. And make the background black. All right, now the first step to making animations like this is the scene setup. So we'll make the background and we'll put this logo here. And we'll make the dollar thingies go around and all that good stuff. So let's start with the background. So right click and make a new solid and make a black solid. So just like this. And now let's add this effect called four color gradient. So this one, you can find them here or you can use this plugin, it's pretty nice. It's free also, so I think it's called FX plugin. Then just go over to the effect controls here on the gradient and change these to black. Use these picker thingies to select the previous one to make it easier. And this first one can be a nice dark orange, kind of like the WAP colors. Make it something like this. And then you can hold this dot and drag it a bit more to the side and kind of play around with these colors till it looks something like this. This is pretty nice. Great. Now go ahead and import this WAP logo. So just drag it to the timeline. I'll leave this in the description. I'll also leave one more free surprise for you there. So check it out. There's some free stuff in there. And this WAP logo has this text here. So just select the logo and press Q and just mask it out like this. Perfect. And now you can center the anchor point of this logo, so you can click this if you have the plugin. If you don't, you can hold command and double click this, this tool, this anchor point tool. And yeah, now the anchor point is centered and now we can align it. So on the align panel, it may be over here, I have it set to be over here. Click this, click this, and it's gonna be aligned. Perfect. Now we're gonna add the dollar thing is going across the right side. So the way we'll do that is go over to the type tool and hold it and select the vertical type tool. This is probably the first time I've ever used this. I never thought there would be a day. But yeah, go ahead and click on the screen and just type the dollar sign. Not like that. Not like that. Perfect. Awesome. And I think, I'm not exactly sure, but I think the font he uses is this Helvetica, Helvetica New Condensed Bold. So this one. Or the Condensed Black. Yeah, I'm not a 100% sure, but it looks similar, so we'll go with that. And then what you'll do is you'll just type a bunch of these. So, just type, type a few of these, just like that. Increase the font size a lot, and you can even increase the scale. Get them somewhere over here. Then you make this into a 3D layer. Also, the logo has to be a 3D layer, because we're going to be doing some camera stuff. So yeah, make it a 3D layer as well. Don't make the background. And yeah, then we can kind of place them over here, scale them up even more and place them kind of like this. We'll do the animator later, but yeah, kind of place them over here. Then we're gonna select the type tool again. Now this time the horizontal and go over to the left corner and just type, and just type two more of those dollar signs and we'll make them small this time and kind of place them over here. And I'll even decrease this thing a bit, make them kind of on top of each other. So something like this. Then I'll just duplicate this layer and select the type tool and change this text to its long text. Whoop. And also, we can put this back to zero. And yeah, just type in WAP. Alright, now once you have it written out, you can select them all and make this paragraph thing to the left. So it'll look like this and make it all caps. And I'll decrease this a bit, make it a bit smaller. Yeah, get it looking something like this. Now I'll center the anchor point again and I'll make it small. Just like this, you can make this a 3 layer as well, make this a 3D layer as well, everything can be 3D. And yeah, just place this somewhere around here, and place the dollar signs a bit up, a bit to the right, rotate them, kind of like this. And I'll place this text a bit above the dollars, pretty nice. Alright, that's the scene setup done for now, we have all the assets in place, I'm gonna go make a new cup of coffee, and we'll get straight to animating. That's hot. All right, let's get to animating. So I'll make a new camera and make it a one-node camera. This can be 50 and just click OK. 
Now we'll start off by animating this this dollar thingy. So I'll scale it up a bit more. And the way I will animate it is pressing P and making a position keyframe here. And I'll just push it up to the last character. Get it looking like this. You can hold shift while pushing it to have it stay in place and not go like this. And then go around two seconds and I'll make it come down. Something like this. We'll see how that looks. That's alright. Need a bit more. Now you select the keyframes, you press F9, go to the graph editor and select them all and pull this little yellow thingy to 80 and this one as well. That's a bit too sharp of a graph, so go back and make it actually like 65. Yeah, I like that a lot. Perfect. Now let's get to the logo. And it's pretty simple, so just click S on your keyboard for scale and T for opacity. Press a U to see them both. You can select these, push them forward, because that's the position we want it to end up in. And we'll scale it up. Scale it up and move it like this and make the opacity zero. Oops, don't need that. And then select the keyframes, easy easy again, so F9. Select them here and make a left graph. So pull this to 80 and pull this to about 20, like this. That's nice. It's ending up a bit too small, so I'll scale it up in the end position, so over there. That's really nice. Maybe make this a bit longer. Really like that. In Iman's version, the logo doesn't appear immediately, so you can kind of push this, delay it a bit, kind of like this. Perfect. So yeah, for the big text, I'll just slap on a fade up words. Not sure if it's the exact exact one he uses but you don't really even see this text in the animation so it's not that deep and you can press u to see the keyframes and make it a bit longer yeah kind of like that for the dollars we can just press t and make an opacity frame and make zero at the start and yeah gonna make it appear like that great now we have some animations going on awesome now we can see this text going over the logo so i'm just gonna press p on the logo and push it up a bit like this so the last position make it like minus 80 Perfect. I'll increase the scale a bit more on the logo, make it looking something like this. So the last keyframe, because we're going to do the match cut and it's going to get smaller. Yeah, so we'll make the match cut somewhere like here, so you can cut the camera. So press B, or uh, I think it's Shift Command D, the normal preset, I have a change, but yeah, anyway. So yeah, I actually lied. Take off the 3D from this text and the dollar sign, and it's going to make it easier because now it's not going to move, it's going to stay in the corner where it's supposed to. So I'll make the camera zoom out a bit like this to make the logo smaller and then I'll actually cut this dollar thing. So this thing on the right, I'll cut it as well. I'll kind of rotate it like this and also like this and yeah and here at the cut I'll just make a new keyframe push it to the right. Also scale it down a bit now that it's bigger and I'll select both of these and push it kind of down and yeah that looks really good. Perfect. And then on the camera I also think I'll add a bit of rotation, so I'll rotate it kind of like this and push the position down over here and I'll scale this down even more, the dollar thing is, yeah that's nice. Do we want the camera to keep moving, so we'll make a position keyframe here on the cut camera and we'll make it zoom a bit forward, not that much, and might as well easy is that. Now we'll make the box here, so make sure nothing is selected and press Q for the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. We'll set the stroke to one pixel and we'll set the fill. You can hold option and click this if it's turned off. I'll change it to a really dark orangey color and the stroke can be a bit lighter of a orange color. So maybe just like that. Yeah, I think that's nice. Then I'll make the roundness like 25. Well, 24 now. Perfect. I'll decrease the opacity a bit. This is pretty nice. Then you can select the type tool over here and you can just type in. So yeah, just type in any number and we can put on the preset which I'll provide in the description. So we'll put on the basic dollar rounded. We'll get this dollar number counter presets super easily. I'll make this zero because we played around with this. You can select the text and press U and make the first lighter like 300 and make the last lighter like 999. Perfect. Now we can easy ease this. And I'll make it a bit shorter, hmm, not that short, maybe something like this. Then I will make it smaller and place it right here. 
Then I'm gonna type the rest of the text. So command T for the type tool and just type in million purchased on WAP and you can make this the uppercase letters and you can make the paragraph to the center. Now you can scale it down, make it fit in the rectangle, put on a few spaces to make the million. A million a bit more to the right. So just click space a few times. Scale down the 300. And yeah, just make this look similar. And there we go. And I'll cut this. And that's kind of nice. And I'll pre-compose both of these text layers. So shift command C and I'll call this text perfect. And I'll make this 3D and also make the shape layer 3D and then we'll kind of readjust them readjust them like this perfect and then we could go into the pre-comp and yeah for the text I'll just slap on a preset I'll also leave this in the description because I'm too bored to animate it over here so I'll just use presets for everything and this looks pretty awesome for this one I'll make a position opacity do something like this for the number thing yeah this is nice good enough now when the number reaches 999, you're gonna wanna cut this and just press U and click the keyframe and make the slider 1 and move it over like this and you also cut this text and you'll change the M for a B. Perfect. And I think this one is looking a bit too big so a bit smaller. Perfect. That looks great. Not perfectly centered so I delete a few of the spaces and do something like this. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Now we got the text done. Resize it a bit. Make it big. All right, now the scene is done and we're pretty much finished animating everything. So now we can move on to effects, making this actually look good because this looks kind of like a mess right now. So I'll go to the start. First thing I'll do is I'll fix this dollar thingy on the right. So the first effect I'll add is a gradient ramp. So this one, slap it on the dollar. Now you can just go over here, take this pen thing and select the color of the WAP logo and do the same thing for the other one but just make it a tiny bit lighter bit more lighter perfect yeah I like that now you can copy this gradient ramp from the dollar and you can paste it to the WAP logo make sure these points are on the right and left corners on Iman's clip he has it a bit more orangey so I'll I'll do that I'll make this a bit more on the white white side of things and just kind of play around with this so it looks good in your opinion so that's what matters perfect now we also need to put on the effect on the second dollar thingy which we kind of cut right there and then we'll add a cc light sweep so this one and we'll make the sweep intensity zero and we'll increase the width and the intensity a bit we'll make it smooth yeah, just kind of play around with these settings till it looks good. Make sure the sweep intensity is at zero at all times. And just do something like this. This is pretty good. Now I'll slap on a glow. And I have a glow preset, which kind of mimics the Imangaji look. I'll leave this in the description as well. And that's way too much. Okay, so we can decrease the intensity and the threshold. Up the threshold and decrease the intensity. That looks super good. That's a beautiful logo. Perfect. Now the logo I'll also add an exposure effect. And I'll keyframe the exposure to be at zero at around here. And on the start, we're gonna make it like minus nine. So it's gonna get the shadow look and just the nine this easy is it. And that's great. Now let's work on the text on the left corner. So this one's plus I'll rotate the dollar signs a bit. So you can press W, kind of like this. And for them, we're also going to add a gradient ramp and white color here, black color here. And, and yeah, that's good enough. And then you press T on your keyboard. Yeah, we also already keyframed this. So I'll go to the last keyframe and just make it something like this. Basically make it really small. And same for this text. T, we'll just make it like this. So it kind of looks like it's in the background. We'll also add a Gaussian blur and make it like five a little bit more and add it to po both of these so control c control v i'll even up the gaussian blur a bit more like 16. great now let's move on to this box thingy damn i actually forgot to animate this box basically the way it is animated is it's just a t for opacity p for position u to see them and push them a bit forward and it's just the animation like this so push it down and make the opacity zero 
F9 this and make a graph like this, so a left graph. It will make it way longer. Like this. Yeah, that's nice. I'll just add the same glow effect to the box, so the Iman glow. And I'll put the same glow on the text. That's looking really awesome. These are a bit small, so might as well scale them up a bit like this. Scale them and readjust. Beautiful. Yeah, we're almost done. Just a bit more tweaking. I'll make the exposure of the logo last a bit longer, get the nice effect. And I think the colors, not exactly like he has, but who cares? Just make it look nice. Go like that. And yeah, that's pretty awesome. Now I'll just press Command A and put motion blur on everything. That just saves the day. Now one more thing I'll do is I'll add a same glow to the background. We'll try to make it look a bit better and you can increase the threshold to kind of get this nice effect. And we can make it something like this and just decrease the intensity and up the radius. And that looks awesome. That's sick. One more thing I noticed, you can add the same CC light sweep effect on the shape layer here. So I'll just copy it over and I'll center the center. Perfect. And I'll also extend this camera keyframe a bit, make it fit the whole animation like this. Thank you guys for watching. First of all, animation. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and check out this video for more.